Yeah. The human television. Uh, why, you may ask, I'm not on TV. TV is in me. Oh, I think that was the food channel. Uh, okay. Ooh, tastes like emerald. Yeah, I can stick it. Oh, yeah. So, um, by the way, uh, being a human television, I, I know that, you know, a lot of people say, oh, are you high def? Are you high def? Yeah, I'm the real high def. You guys into high def? Uh, yeah. yeah. Good, because if you're high and you're deaf, you're going to love my act. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> somebody was a smart aleck, you know what? Uh, they gave me my, uh, uh, my favorite commercial. They actually bought the product for me. Uh, the clapper, remember that? Clap on, clap off, the clapper. Uh, but I just installed it this weekend, and I really haven't tried it out yet, so I'd like your help, maybe I'm going to see if the clapper works. Can you hang on? Let me see if the clapper works here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Technology marches on. Yeah. <clears throat> now somebody just invent the laugher. Oh, God. <laughs> this will come in handy later. So, okay, uh, I was here uh, last month, a lot of people are talking about uh, what's that guy's name? And I watch it on I watch him on TV a lot. Oh, the Don, the Don, right? Donald Trump. And you know, it appears to me, you know, a lot of people are upset. You know, me too. Uh, but I just want to get that out there. But you know, I was thinking about the guy got uprooted from this town that he loves, and he had to move to another place that he really doesn't like. But he's not used to it. He's just getting used to it. And that reminds me of an old TV series, you know, from the '60s. Uh, and uh, I think if they updated that series. It might go something like this. And now it's time for the billionaire hillbillies. Come and listen to a story about a man named Trump. I know a billionaire who was dumber than a stump. Then one day he was yelling on TV and he won himself something called the presidency. Electoral vote, that is. Ruskies, FBI, well, the next thing you know, Trump's the ruler of the land. His kin folks said, we'll be glad to lend a hand. They said, Washington is the place you ought to be. So they loaded up the limo and they moved to D.C. <laughs> Part time, that is. <laughs> Swamp rats, Hollywood for ugly folks. <laughs> hey, Jed Rowe. Y'all better not let me catch you behind the woodshed with Vonky May no more. <laughs> That's the camp laughter, by the way. <laughs> this here's the White House, and it don't even got a woodshed. <laughs> what you talking about, Paul? You don't make no sense at all. <laughs> I don't make no sense. Damn right I don't. How do you think I got erected? <laughs> Hang on a second. These cue cards. My cue card guy's on strike. I thought that was because the FBI is October surprise. <laughs> and them Russian hucksters. <laughs> Shit! I can out huckster them Russians any old day. I fired people on TV for 14 years. And look who voted for me. Out of work crackers. <laughs> that's cause they thought you hated immigrants as much as they do yeah <laughs> that's why I marry them <laughs> see what I mean hell no <laughs> but that's alright you president now <laughs> why here comes my lovely wife Mel Annie New York is where my father <laughs> stay <laughs> darling I love you but give me fifth dollar no that's the wrong show Mel Annie <laughs> oh, uh, honey, can you do something about all those protesters out there? <laughs> well, I'd like to, Mel Annie, but I hear there's something in the Constitution that says I can't. <laughs> I didn't know you read the Constitution. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I can barely read these here cue cards. Yep, right here. <laughs> hey, here comes my little girl, Vonka May. <laughs> Yee-wee! You sure do look finger licking good in them blue jean short shorts of yours. <laughs> I don't give a damn what Nordstrom says. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Uh, you just got a call from Vladimir Pudinhead. Pudinhead. <laughs> he says you owe him some money. What? 
He knows I'm going to pay him back by lifting them sanctums. No, that's the right, that's the right voice. Yeah. No, he says you owe him for something else. A laundry bill. What the hell's he talking about? He says the hotel charged him for washing all them yellow sheets of yours. <laughs> I get the Groner sign next week. <laughs> oh, that launder bill! <laughs> Guess I better give him those missiles he wants right away. Yeah. Well, now it's time to say goodbye to Trump and all his kin, so we can run our government without them butting in. They won't be coming back no more to this locality. They'll be serving time for treason in the penitentiary. Yeah. Collusion, that is, with the enemy for personal enrichment. Y'all get the fuck out of here now, you hear? Down, 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 down.